Welcome to GPCA TV. I'm John Baker from ISIS and I'm here at the annual GPCA forum in Dubai. I'm talking to Ahmed El Amadi, General Manager of QChem, Qatar Chemical Company. So can I ask you how you see investment in Qatar proceeding in the petrochemical area? Is there room for more ethylene crackers and petrochemical plants? Was that the Qatar government and uh, in collaboration with the Qatar Petro uh, Qatarom QP? Uh, working very heavily. Uh, there are already a couple of projects has been announced, one of which was uh, uh, Karana, which is a petrochemical uh, mega project with Shell, which is already in, in progress and uh, it's progressing. Hopefully, we'll be on time. Uh, there are others also downstream. There was like a, a, a Sajil project, but that was put on hold and due to QP, Qatar Petroleum, thinking to diversify it on other downstream, more profitable and more retain on, on, on those projects. And do you have the necessary feedstock for these in the ethane? Or do you feel you need to move into more refinery integration with liquids and naphtha? Well, from the north field uh, uh, gas, of course, uh, we have the necessary feedstock. But again, Qatar and uh, Qatar Petroleum, they look always into the most beneficial and the best retain you know, to go to diversify not just for the conventional petrochemical they might go to a further downstream which will make more uh, so generally feedstock is available but again Qatar and like others they are looking to other feedstock which is not only sufficient on the ethane base or uh, methane base they go to the liquids also and to convert the liquid to the petrochemicals. Can you say a little bit about QChem now? What are your aims and objectives, and do you have further investments planned? Well, QChem went to, through like past 10 years from the QChem 1, successful, and then went to uh, the QChem 2, uh, especially uh, concentrating on the high density polyethylene and also one of the, our major normal alpha olefins. Uh, we are now at the peak, uh, enhancing what we have within our mind through our coming turnaround in 2015 followed the other unit for 2016. Uh, we want to go through the mechanical integrity and to improve our capability on enhancing. Uh, we don't have anything today on the new project, but we want to concentrate and enhance the units and the company and also finally uh, our uh, people, Qatari development training to enhance it and to make it more efficient. And can you say what you're doing about recruitment and attracting talent into the industry now? The young engineers or uh, hiring from the high school, for example, and we sponsor them to the universities and Qatars and colleges and overseas. Now we have got a, a further steps, which we go for the uh, succession plan. We took those people, engineers, with the five years or six years experience to develop them further to be a first role superintendent type, manager type, and development. So they will be the future leaders of a QCAM in a couple of years. Thank you very much for joining us on GPCA TV.